Greetings and welcome back. Kamal here once again, and this time with a very interesting limit problem. We're interested in the limit as x approaches 0, from the right of course, of x factorial to the 1 over x. Okay, cool. So how exactly are we to approach this thing? Well, we're calling it i for reference purposes. But wait, shouldn't we use i for integrals? Well, you can use any sort of name for reference purposes, and because I use i for all my integrals, or i is some function, so why not? Anyway, so we're going to consider the logarithm of i. That is the logarithm of the limit as x approaches 0 of x factorial to the 1 over x. Now, x factorial and 1 over x are both continuous functions for x greater than 0, which means that we can switch up the order of the operators here. So we have the limit as x approaches 0 of log x factorial to the 1 over x. And of course, making use of the properties of the logarithm, we can write this as the limit of 1 over x times log x factorial. Now, my initial approach was to, you know, maybe express this as something that can be evaluated using L'Hopital's rule. And for that, I expanded the x factorial here as follows. We have the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over x times log x times x minus 1 all the way to 2 times 1, of course. And very quickly, you can see where exactly this approach goes wrong. So using the properties of the logarithm, we can express this as a sum. So we have limit of 1 over x times log x minus log x minus 1, and so on. No, wait, that's a plus sign. Terribly sorry about that. And so on and so forth, all the way to log 2, because log 1 is just 0. So you see, we don't exactly have limits on which we can apply L'Hopital's rule. The first one is just something that approaches negative infinity over something that approaches zero, so that's a no-go. And for the rest, we actually have complex numbers. Okay, cool. So obviously that means a different approach is required. And what exactly could that be? Well, x factorial is just, well, the gamma function. We know that x factorial equals gamma x plus 1. So we're interested in log i, which is the limit as x approaches 0 from the right, of 1 over x times log gamma x plus 1. Now, there are a few versions of the gamma function, and that includes our favorite integral version. But for this particular problem, a product form for the gamma function would be, would be quite feasible. The reason for that is we have logarithms, and logs turn products into, well, sums. And the infinite product for the gamma function by wire stress is just way too awesome. I mean, I've used that quite a few times here on the channel, and I've even used it once to derive a really cool calculus result, a beautiful result search the channel for it, you'll probably find it somewhere, and if you don't, you'll end up watching a lot more cool math videos, so yeah, it's a win-win, everybody. So, what exactly is the Weierstrass definition of the gamma function? Well, we have 1 over gamma z equal to z times e to the gamma z times the infinite product over the positive integers k, of 1 plus z to the k, z over k, that is, times e to the negative z over k. And this already looks quite promising. So I'm going to expand by 1 over z, or I'll just rename the dummy variable to x. So expanding by 1 over x gives me 1 over x times gamma x. And we know from the recursion formula from the gamma function that x times gamma x is just gamma x plus 1. So this thing equals e to the gamma x times the infinite product over k from 1 to infinity of 1 plus x over k times e to the negative x over k. And we're interested in the logarithm of this thing. So we have log 1 over gamma x plus 1, which equals negative log gamma x plus 1. And now applying the logarithm to the product we have on the right-hand side, that means we have some interesting looking terms here. So we have log gamma, 
log e to the gamma x that is plus this infinite product turns into an infinite series so we have the sum over k from 1 to infinity of log 1 plus x over k plus of course we have log e to the negative x over k some lovely cancellation due to inverse functions so that means we have gamma x plus the sum over k from 1 to infinity of log 1 plus x over k minus x over k okay cool so that's log gamma x minus 1 rather x plus 1 with a negative sign outside and now we should expand by 1 over x so expanding by 1 over x gives us exactly well the negative of exactly what we need on the left hand side that is negative log gamma x plus 1 over x equal to cancellation of the x there leaving the older mascheroni constant plus the sum over k from 1 to infinity of 1 over x times log 1 plus x over k minus again some cancellation and we have a 1 over k term and now it's finally time for l'hopital boy to shine because we're interested in x approaching zero from the right so we're gonna have to evaluate the limit of this thing here so let's talk about the limit as x approaches 0 of log 1 plus x over k over x. So as x approaches 0, we get log 1, which is 0, as in the numerator and denominator both approach 0 in the limit as x approaches 0. So we'll apply L'Hopital's rule here and differentiate. So differentiating upstairs gives us 1 over 1 plus x over k and because of the chain rule we have this extra factor of 1 over k and in the denominator we have 1. And now applying the limit as x approaches 0 this thing just disappears and then we have 1's and we're just left with 1 over k. Which is pretty awesome because this 1 over k will cancel out with the 1 over k term over here. So this implies that the limit as x approaches 0 of, you know what, I'm just going to get rid of the negative sign here by expanding by negative 1. So the limit of log gamma x plus 1 over x as, a, as x approaches 0 equals, we're left with a negative euler mascheroni constant and just a bunch of zeros over here. So that means we have the limit of log i as x approaches 0. And we're, of course, interested in i itself. So this implies that i here, which is the limit as x approaches 0 of x factorial to the 1 over x equals e to the negative Euler Mascheroni constant, which is absolutely gorgeous. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. See you next time.